Hi, my name is Michael Sheridan. I host a radio show in Seattle called So You Think You're Awake. I have taught dream analysis for 25 years with a very strong spiritual direction. I like to help people to discover their life purpose and put them on track spiritually. And I met Liz in 2007 virtually. She sent me a dream for analysis and rather than do it remotely, which is the way I'd always done it, I record the analysis, I decided to phone her and I'd never done that before. Uh, but it was a very strong um, compulsion to call her. And I was, it was really fortuitous for me that I did because we became friends over the years. And recently she contacted me and said that she had completed a certain level of uh, training with her guides and she had started this full immersion into spirit course and she encouraged me to do it. I was very reluctant to do it because I have a strong connection with my own guides, but they said right from the start, this is something you must do, absolutely emphatic about it. And I delayed about it and the costs of the tickets went up uh, by $350 in that period, but my guides just got stronger and stronger about it, that this is something you must do. So I did it, I bought the tickets and I went and I was ex hoping for something really fantastic. Uh, because my guides endorsed it so well and Liz uh, what she said she was going to achieve for me in it uh, was not short of a miracle so I've done courses before where people have said they're going to achieve do things and help me do things and they didn't work out the way uh, they were expected to but this one just far surpassed any expectations I had uh, and like going into it with high expectations it's it's hard to imagine it still is hard to imagine that it did that um, she approached the, my development on a number of fronts um, my diet my physical uh, exercise and with lots and lots of regressions and I thought because I have uh, I have two injuries that I'm going to physiotherapy for I thought okay I'm not going to be able to do the yoga but she tailored it specifically for me uh, so it was really good I still joked about that I sounded like a Chinese firecracker after the yoga uh, if I walked around the room. I didn't, but I just thought it was funny. Um, so what I got out of it, uh, with the regressions, she regresses you to former lives. She regresses you to the interlife. She regresses me to uh, preparation for this lifetime in spirit. And then a place I'd known about, but I'd never seen it in the interlife, uh, in pre-life where you practice what you're going to use on this plane this time around it was just amazing absolutely amazing to to be so in touch i was hoping that she would look beyond the veil and have a strong connection with the spirit world but she just took the veil completely away it was a spiritual course right from the start everything was spiritual it was everything that we worked on all the issues that i have and i knew i had issues they were worked at from a spiritual perspective, completely new for me to do things in that, that way. And it was so fast. It was just right to the nub of issues. And here's what you need to look at. And, and here's why you need to look at it. And here's what we expect uh, is going to happen. And then it would happen. And it was just, it, it blew me away because I'd never had things move so quickly for me before. Uh, I trans-channeled, for instance. That's something I've wanted to do for a very long time. And it was just so effortless. It was like we did a lot of work. Um, a lot of energies were restored. I can feel energy. That's one of the things I like. Um, so anytime she would say, we're giving you a new energy now. And when I say she would say it, she's channeling. So it's her guides all the time are bringing me through the regressions. When they would say, we're giving you a new energy now, I could feel it. Uh, you know, it wasn't just... Uh, somebody sitting beside me saying something and I'm hoping it's true I could actually feel it in the regressions when she would I, I would look at something and wonder is this really real am I seeing something that I should be seeing or, or am I making it up she would describe it and describe it completely the way I'm seeing it and explain why it was important uh, it was just absolutely mind-blowing if you're thinking of doing this course and you have any doubts you will not regret it there is absolutely no way you will regret, regret it um, I've come away completely opened up. I completely feel like, even though I thought before, uh, I'm ready to tackle what I'm here for. To be put in touch with it in such a way, like talking to my guides before I was born, seeing what the whole plan was in many lifetimes.
that all led up to this one and what I'm going to do in this one. It's just, it just puts things in such a context. I said to her, it's like, you know, if my experience before and my knowledge before was from reading The Hobbit, now I've been put in touch with Lord of the Rings and, and realized that what I knew before was just a piece of the knowledge that uh, is important for me to, to move forward in my life. And, uh, but I'm given all that knowledge now. I've, I've been put in touch with it. I've been given the energies. I've been given the, the full explanation. I could ask any questions I wanted and I got comprehensive answers, nothing fluffy. It was a complete comprehensive answer. And then her guides would say, do you understand? And if you don't understand, they would explain it a different way. And it just was stunning, absolutely stunning. There is no way you will regret doing this. Um, maybe it's not for everybody. Uh, it is deep. And it's, I think if you're really going to work in the spiritual field or even have for many years, this course is going to wake you up to a level that you know you have, um, but you just couldn't really put your finger on it. This is beyond anything you've ever done before. And just amazing, absolutely amazing. If you're thinking about doing this and have any hesitations, you will absolutely not regret doing this course. And again, calling it a course is, is the wrong thing.